Peggy Sue Worthison from SciSense. We are a private company, venture capital funded, widely recognized by analysts, but what's more important than that is that we're widely recognized by our customers. We have clients across the gamut from small to large, across industries. If you're asking about a space, the answer is yes. SciSense is a full stack solution. We're able to do everything from data connectivity all the way through sharing of analytic apps. We see three typical types of deployments of SciSense, one for teams. We also have a number of clients who buy SciSense for the enterprise, so deployed centrally, governed centrally, and distributed across an organization. And then SciSense for products, a pretty significant portion of SciSense's portfolio is clients who buy SciSense in order to infuse their products with SciSense. This is part of making sure that we stay focused on radical innovation and that we're constantly evolving some of the things that we're doing. When we think about the analytic life cycle, everything from connecting data, bringing that in, mashing it up, these different data sources that we were just talking about, doing your analysis, developing solutions, not just a dashboard, maybe developing more than that. And then, you know, users being able to explore or just consume. The important thing here for us, when we think about the 90% and the 10%, right, is that we're switching to this idea of the builder, that 10% and staying focused on how do we help them build things more powerfully and deliver capabilities to their end users where the end user gets more in the end, but isn't expected to do everything themselves, right, kind of leaning away from that idea of self-service for everyone. And we're really excited about it because we're acknowledging the fact that the person that we're ultimately serving is that builder and they're serving their end user. When we talk about deployment, we think it's important, this idea of hybrid cloud, really just the complexities of different companies' infrastructure. We think it's really important to be able to support them wherever they are. You know, we're pretty much infrastructure agnostic, right? And we want to remain that way. You know, the answer to all questions around infrastructure is yes broad range of connectors to just about any source you could imagine. And we partner with technology partners to help you get to those that we might not connect to natively. But as general themes, the ability to connect both to cloud data sources, on-premise data sources, large data warehouses, small data sources. And what's important here is that we can connect to data sources, both live and cached, and that is unique. Mashup, uh, this is really exciting. Here, each of those uh, bubbles, each of those circles is a different data source uh, table, and the different colors represent different data sources. So you can see there's quite a bit of complexity. In the analysis space, something that I really love about SciSense is the environment that we give to the analysts. Here in the picture, um, I've put up some text in larger font just so that you could see it, but there's capabilities that we refer to as quick functions that allow you to do really complex sets of analysis with just a couple of clicks. Because of the way that the system performs, I can actually work with a much larger data set than I would in other solutions. Having that all available to me without suffering performance issues on the server makes it possible for me to answer a broader array of questions without having to go back to the data model. Another thing that I really appreciate about Sci sense is the amount of capability that we give to the end users because that allows the analysts to stay focused on those core business questions and really thinking about what are the broad array of things that we need to answer within the app that we're building. We also have a number of capabilities within the platform around governance. We want to use SciSense on SciSense, right? We want the administrator of the system to be able to dig deeper and see how things are being used across the board so that they can efficiently govern the system. Not just secure the system, but really think about user adoption, think about how the system's being used. We'll see a lot more investments in this space as well over the coming year, really exciting for us. On the developer side, I mentioned some of those developer toolkits earlier, uh, the ability to integrate with things like Alexa, with even light bulbs. We give the developers the opportunity to make it their own. And these are some of the reasons why we've been incredibly successful in that OEM space, because of the amount of flexibility we give to our clients to make things their own. We're thinking about ways to move beyond the dashboard and give the developer and the analyst more tools to move beyond something that you're consuming, but instead something that you're interacting with. So how do you take those insights and turn them into action? For me, the proof is in what our clients are able to do and the stories that they tell us about what they're able to accomplish. We provide a number of services at no extra cost that other organizations charge for. We also have a dedicated client success manager for every client. We're a single stack solution, so we have everything in the box that you're going to need to be successful.